Greetings, loyal viewers, and welcome to the party that never stops as long as you've got an internet connection. I'm Ben Morse, and this is the Weekly Watcher for Friday, November 13th, 2009. That's right, baby. Now even Friday the 13th can stop us here at Watcher Central from delivering that much-needed dose of Marvel news you can use, so let's kick it. Let your astonishment resume, as this week the second pulse-pounding episode of the Astonishing X-Men Motion Comic Touchdown is currently available for download via iTunes. Cyclops and company confront the all-new menace of Ford in this latest installment adapting Joss Whedon and John Cassidy's classic saga. For information on how to check it out for yourself, plenty of behind-the-scenes goodies to boot, scoot over to Marvel.com. Countdown to C, the 2010 mega-epic by Brian Michael Bendis and Olivier Coipel set to shake up the Avengers in the Marvel Universe continued to tick on, with three more teasers asking what price victory, and featuring the likes of Captain America, Thor, and the Dark Avengers being unveiled. Over on Marvel.com, you can scope a full set of seven images and then get to salivating. Spider-Man webbed his way onto the World Wide Web in a big way on Monday as the Amazing Spider-Man digital comic debuted on Marvel Digital Comics Unlimited. Written by webhead Bob Gale with art by Spidey vet Patrick Olaf, this brand new endeavor starring the wall crawler will tie into the continuity of his print adventures with new issues hitting every two weeks. Want to hero up with the hit animated series The Superhero Squad Show but can't bear to give your alarm clocks the workout? Good news, squad supporters, as the protectors of Superhero City have migrated to a second weekly time slot in primetime every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on Cartoon Network. And for you early risers, never fear, as the Superhero Squad show will also continue to air weekdays at 8.30 a.m. also on Cartoon Network. Iron Man 2 may not be streaking onto the big screen until May 7, 2010, but you can look the part already thanks to the Marvel Shop. Show your support for the Armored Avenger by picking up t-shirts sporting the Stark Industries logo or Shellhead's trademark arc reactor, which actually glows. While you're there, you can also grab tons more fetching Marvel fashion, including the official Marvel Studios tee and shirts bearing the star-spangled visage of Captain America, as depicted by our esteemed editor-in-chief, Joe Quesada. It's almost the holidays, so get to the good stuff at shop.marvel.com. Speaking of the holidays, nothing says peace on earth and goodwill towards men quite like the Watcher World premiere. I was hurt for a good segue. This week in the world premiere, we've got our first glimpse at Deadpool number 18 by Daniel Way and Paco Medina, in which Wade Wilson's attempt to join the extraordinary X-Men comes to a rollicking conclusion. Cyclops has done his best to keep Pool out of trouble and off the radar, but sometimes even the best plans go horribly, horribly wrong. See for yourself in Deadpool number 18, available December 9th. If you thought that was all the Deadpool you're getting this week, think again, suckers. It's time for this week's stuff. Legendary Deadpool scribe Joe Kelly returned to his old pal this week as the Mark with a Mouth went after your friendly neighborhood you-know-what in Amazing Spider-Man number 611, featuring art by Eric Kinnett. The mutant side of the Marvel Universe turned a shade nastier as Norman Osborn's own Children of the Atom got their own limited series in Dark X-Men number 1, written by Paul Cornell, drawn by Leonard Kirk, and featuring the turn of Nate Gray, aka X-Man. The stars got a bit safer this week, as the men, women, and aliens watching out for Earth's safety got their own new series in Sword No. 1, courtesy of Kieron Gillen and Steven Sanders. Finally, what does a former Sorcerer Supreme do after giving up his cape and orb? Writer Mark Wade and artist Emma Rios asked that very question in Strange No. 1. Well, we made it through Friday the 13th with merry a stroke of bad luck. Well done, team. Thanks for watching. As always, for a full list of comics on sale, as well as news and info on movies, video games, motion comics and toys, as well as thousands of digital comics, check out marvel.com. I'm Ben Morse, and for over 70 years, this is Marvel, your universe. Don't walk under any ladders, guys. Just saying. Marvel, your universe.